Okay, today I thought I'd do a quick run through of the settings for F122 on the HP Reverb G2. So in the settings, I've got the display resolution set to best quality, and I've got frame rate set at 90 hertz. Now, people that experience uh, performance issues trying to run the G2, because it is difficult to run at native resolution at 90 hertz, will have more success running it uh, stably at 60 hertz. However, I personally, I find the screen too um, strobe-like uh, to run at 60 hertz. So I always run mine at 90 hertz, but if you can use it at 60 hertz and you don't mind how it looks, then I recommend you try that as an option. But, uh, for my settings today, I'm just gonna show you how I've got mine running at 90 hertz and at the best quality resolution. So that is it for the WMR settings. And if you're wondering how you get to them, it's just under the WMR Mixed Reality Portal menu. Go to the bottom and then click settings and you can bring it up. The other option worth unselecting for a bit of a performance boost is the classic apps, create virtual displays for classic apps. When Mixed Reality starts, I've got that turned off. Previously, you'd have to do this with a uh, registry edit. Okay, with the Steam VR, menu open first thing i'll just show you are my settings for windows mixed reality so i think the only thing i've got off is the uh motion smoothing reprojection mode personally i don't like having it on so i've got it set to disabled and that's about it i don't think i've changed any of these so under Advanced settings, I've got the set to show. Now, the one thing I've noticed on my Quest 2 video, people have said, why does my Quest 2 resolution not match what Steam is showing? It's probably because this is set to auto. So you want to make sure render resolution is set to custom. And I leave this on 100% for the global resolution. And then the per app uh, video setting resolution is applied on top of the global one. So just keep in mind these two are combined it isn't just one overrides the other so if we go into the per application video settings when we go to f122 and we've got that set to 70 percent so 2648 by 2588 and go with that first of all go to home let's launch the game so game options settings so the first thing you want to do is check under vr that that resolution matches the Steam VR per app resolution. And stencil mesh, we've got that onto on. So what that means is on the 2D companion screen, it will only render the area that you're viewing. It doesn't have to render it, render any additional part of the uh, VR world. So you'll get a slight performance boost by having that on. Then graphic settings. Today, we're going to start off with VR high default, just to see what kind of benchmark we get on this. This should underperform. Under resolution, you've got the companion app resolution and it's windowed. I'm going to leave it on the best setting, in my opinion, which is TAA and Fidelity FX sharpening. Everything else we'll leave as is. Uh, we have benchmark mode, get some Miami, show FPS counter on, and we'll run the benchmark. So our FPS counter in game is going between the low 80s on average. As you can see, it's not hitting our target FPS of 90. So we're going to have to lower the resolution or the graphic settings, and as the resolution looks as Low as I want to go, really. I'm going to lower the VR preset a bit more. Okay, there are the results for VR high preset. So what I'll do now is try the VR medium preset. See what kind of figures we get for that. So VR medium, and then we'll set, reset the app FPS counter app. That GPU's sitting around the 72% utilization now. Uh, less reprojection. Okay, there was the performance on VR Medium. 
So we're still we're averaging a bit higher than we did before, 88 frames a second. So what I'll probably do now is drop the VR medium settings a bit lower so you can squeeze a bit more performance out and then try to turn the resolution up a little. Settings, graphics, medium, and then what we're going to turn texture streaming down to ultra low and the crowds down to low and see how we get on with that. So FPS seems to be pretty locked on 88, 89, you know, a bit of a dip there to 84. But generally that seems pretty good and we're on high 60s to 70% GPU utilization. So I might turn the uh, Steam VR resolution up a, a little bit. So back into settings, we're up 22. Uh, go over to settings, check our VR resolution has been picked up. It has 2768. Graphic settings, I'm just going to carry on with the custom medium preset. To benchmark. To Miami, to FPS VR back on. So we're now looking at mid 70% GPU utilization. 75 to 80%. And we're still on the 88 FPS. So 11 milliseconds is the average that we want to hit for 90 hertz. So there we go, the maximum frame time was a little bit over at 12.2, but given that the average frame time is pretty close to the 11, I wouldn't want to go any higher than that on the resolution. And that's with a custom VR medium preset, so it still looks pretty good. I'll probably run with this. So to some of the settings we had in this video, first of all, we had VR high with the Steam per app resolution set to 70% which gives us a 2648 by 2588 resolution. And on VR high, you could see we're, we had quite a lot of uh, frame time above the uh, maximum 11 milliseconds that we want to be hitting. CPU usage was way below, so we're definitely GPU constrained and the utilization was up in the 90% area. Then when we dropped the graphic settings down to the VR medium preset, we actually, um, it was quite playable. We're way below the 11 milliseconds. Still quite a bit of GPU usage there. And then by turning the settings down to the custom medium preset, we um, gained even more performance, a bit more leeway between the 11 milliseconds and you see the uh, GPU utilization dropped further. Uh, and at which point we then crank the resolution up a little bit from the 70% uh, Steam VR render scale up to 80, which gave us a 2832 by 2768 resolution, which is fairly decent at 90 hertz. So this is the setting that I would recommend if you're running a 3090. Uh, I did do a longer gameplay session for 20 minutes here at Austria in the wet, and. Um, it still performed pretty well on average. So you get an idea of what you can get out of a 3090 with this game. Um, I'd say this setting here would probably be more suitable uh, at the 70% and the uh, custom VR preset for if you're running a 3080. Uh, if you want to see some other tips and tricks, check out my Quest 2 VR settings video. So I'll stop the video there. Don't forget if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you've got any configurations for the G2 that work pretty well, just leave them in the comments below because it helps other users out. And that's it. Until next time, bye for now.